Pre-calc. This is the After Tuesday edition, and that's the 9th. So on May 9th, we're going to look at several transformations of a function at the same time. And I have discussed that already to some degree, but I just want to know, you to know that when there's several things going on at once, that you can follow these steps. The first thing you're going to do is horizontal transformations. Then you're going to do the stretching or shrinking. Then you are going to do reflections. And then lastly, the vertical transformations. So can we think of a a saying that helps us with that HSRV. How about headstrong? Uh, this is reflecting. It starts with an R. All right, headstrong, rebellious, and violent. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure what's going through my mind today, but that's what <laughs> came out. All right, so let's practice. I'll show you two, and you do one for me. Suppose we have y equals square root of 7 minus x minus 2. All right, in order to get this, we have to start with the parent function. The parent function is y equals square root of x. And so that starts abruptly here and goes off like that. Now according to our list, we're going to do the horizontal transformation first. So that is a positive 7, which makes us move this way. See, when the change is hugging the x inside of the function, we do a right-left, the opposite of what it would, you would think. So, so here's, we moved it 7 this way. Then, we are going to do stretching and shrinking. In order for there to be a stretch or a, str a shrink, there would be a number multiplied times the values in here or out here. So there's no stretching or shrinking. Then it says reflecting. This negative sign here does cause us to reflect. And when the negative sign is inside the function hugging the x, it's a reflection across the y-axis. So this is what we're going to reflect. So here's the y-axis. So if we were going to fold, like I say this, we painted this on and we folded along this line, the reflection would look like this. All right, not supposed to be bigger like that. It's supposed to be exactly the same shape. So it would look flatter than that. All right. So ignore that first one, it was too high. All right, so the reflection of this was this. And lastly, we do the vertical translation. There is one, and this tells us to go down two. So this would go down two. So our final answer is right here. All right, so that's the kind of work. I'd like you to dot these in so when you were doing it, you would go quickly, you would do the parent function, you would move it seven, you would reflect it, oops, trying to show you how to dot it, then you would reflect it, 
and you would drop it down to so the final answer is right there all right that is how you would do that one let's do another one using our headstrong rebellious violent clues all right let's do y equals negative 3 x plus 4 plus 8. All right, so the first thing is figuring out what the parent function is. It's the absolute value function, so dot it in. Absolute value. And we're going to move it horizontally first. Here's the horizontal. It will go to the left for Then we will do the shrinking or stretching. This number multiplied outside will cause a vertical stretch. So it's going to, if this was on a piece of stretchy paper and I pulled it stretching it vertically, it would squeeze this together by a factor of three. Then we're going to reflect. So this negative sign out here, outside of the flank, function reflects across and I was supposed to dot that. Alright, and so we're going to reflect that across the x-axis. And lastly we do the vertical, so we're going to move that up 8. So it was right here. So it's going to go up 8. So about here. So this whole shape is moving up 8. And we have that, the final answer. Maybe a little thinner than that. All right. So let me leave one in your tender care. I'd like you to try this one in your comp book. And it is y equals negative 2x plus 1 quantity cubed minus 2. Alright, use our headstrong rebellious violent clues to correctly graph this function. Starting with the parent function, doing the horizontals, the stretching shrinking, the reflecting, and the verticals. All right, Let's see what that does for you. And we will put that one on the board first thing in the morning. All right, that's all for tonight, and we will pull all this together tomorrow. So carry on.